I am not preaching Christianity. It is false. Okay, uh, so this was your last reply to me. Now, I asked you questions about the Democrats, or I can't remember what they are, but you started, well, you don't, you say this isn't preaching, so I don't know what, what, you're, what it is, what you think you're doing. But uh, going back, all the way back to the beginning. Because you're a fucking jackass. Because there's lots of shit to take down here. Okay, so... From Marjorie, from the dipshit, protesting is a constitutional right, and I am going to New York on Tuesday to protest this unprecedented abuse of our justice, because, uh, because Donald can do no wrong no matter what he does, even if he does wrong, because you guys are a cult. Okay, so you say prayers, to which I ask, to the God who caused all of this world's problems, the God whom you also claim is in control and has blessed America. Your response to that. Our creator gives us the choice on how we live. It is not his fault for the mess this world is in. Each person will be judged on the life they live in. Now, how does this answer my question? To the God who caused all of this world's problems. Uh, you don't address that. You just say he gives us a choice on how we live. It is not his fault. Well, uh, the God whom you also claim is in control and has blessed America. <coughs> well, no, this doesn't answer my questions. Our creator gives us a choice on how we live. <laughs> okay, so if it's our choice, what does it even have to do with God? Why pray? That's the key thing here. You're praying. Okay, so you're praying when it's our choice? How does that make any sense, uh, Mr. Reb Jero? Hmm? What are you praying for if it's our choice? on how we live. It is not his fault. What does that even do with him? You just contradicted yourself here. Do you not see that? So carrying on here. So wouldn't God giving us that choice be the cause of this world's problems? And this is where the madness starts. And it's a huge problem here. Are you a parent? Now, the problem there, right from the get-go, is that uh, parents are not gods. Parents are not perfect. The only, the, only commonality, the only common ground with parents and gods is that they create without uh, consent or, well, they force people into existence. That's the only real similarity I can see between God and the parent. A parent is not omnipotent. Omnipre Omnipotent, omnipresent, or omniscient. Christians, I get that sometimes, uh, you know, parent does this, parent does that. A parent is not a god. So that's, you know. Would you, would you, after having created a child, if you could, make it do everything you thought it should do? Uh... Would you, after having a child, if you could, make it? Um, wouldn't that be tyranny? Isn't that what God does? He makes us choose. He doesn't make us choose what he wants. But that's the key thing there also. It's what he wants. Now, as you just said, we make the choice to do something he does not want. That results in eternal damnation, correct? What does that have to do with this world? What does that have to do with America in particular? <laughs> now, if I did make a kid do everything I thought it should do, that would make me tired. Isn't that what 
well, again, I see what you're trying to do here. God doesn't make us, well, he does make us, he makes us, he uh, makes us make a choice. He obligates us to make a choice. It's our choice, yes, but we have to make that choice or else. And even if we don't, I'm pretty sure we still go to hell, right? But again, what does that have to do with this world, this existence? <laughs> well, aside from the fact that this world is naturally fallen, as Christian as Christianity says, or as a good parent, you make available to the child his, the knowledge. Now, didn't Adam and Eve get knowledge from eating that forbidden fruit? How did the God, how did God feel about that? Hmm? Isn't that what got us into this fucking mess? Why was that this against God's rule to eat a forbidden fruit containing knowledge? Why is that a crime? Hmm? That means they weren't perfect either, if they did that, right? And God set them up, did he not? What the fuck? On what you should and shouldn't do, and then let the child make the choice. No one likes being forced, so why do you approve of being forced to make a choice? Because if you don't make it, you... If you don't choose between sin and God, if you don't choose either, you still go to hell, right? So what the fuck? Isn't that force? <laughs> what if I don't make a choice? What if I don't, you know, and if I'm unable to, then how is a choice uh, possible? If I don't choose, like, if I don't make a choice, is that even possible? Like, you, you would probably say, well, you're a sinner. Well, then that makes sin the default position, correct? So, the only way out is to choose God. Otherwise, I can't not make a choice. What the fuck is that shit? Even if that isn't forced by God, it's still God's condition. It's still the, the, the condition God created. Uh, assuming Christianity is, is tr the truth for, you know, for the sake of pointing that out. You learn that doing things are, that are wrong. Okay, how can anybody do any wrong if God is omnipotent? And if he created us all perfectly? Immortal and uh, invincible. How can, how can anything be wrong? How can pain be felt by anybody? Answer me that. Doing things right causes good things to happen. Why? Did, why? Again, would we need to do anything right? If there was any right way to do anything, would there be any right way of doing anything, or wrong for that matter, if we were all immortal and invincible? Perfect. So, yeah, this. Okay, now you say this isn't preaching. What is it then? So, continuing on here. Now I ask, answer my, well, I said this, answer my questions. You just want to argue. Because I reply telling you to answer my question. That's arguing? How am I arguing? No, I want you to answer my questions. I'm not arguing here. You're the one that's arguing, if anything. Okay, just in case you are being sincere with your question, I will answer, but I won't argue. Nobody's nobody's asking you to argue. And if I see that's all you want, I don't argue, I ask questions. And I asked you, again, going all the way back, Yeah, so wouldn't God be giving us that choice be the cause for this world's problems? You don't answer that. You instead accuse me of arguing after you insult me with this bullshit. What's that about, huh? Okay. 
Okay. <coughs> but I won't argue with it. Uh, I will end this conversation. Because I want you to answer my question. Instead of going on with this shit, whatever it's supposed to be, if it, as you insist, this isn't preaching. Our creator gave us free choice to do right or wrong. How does this answer my question? Even if that's right, even if this is true, you know, what does that have to do with this world? Okay, let's put it this way. If God didn't create life, would anything be going on in this world? So, I mean, who created this world? Did we, or well, we reproduce, but how does this world exist from the root? God created Adam and Eve, correct? And he set Adam and Eve up to uh, disobey him by achieving that knowledge from that forbidden fruit. He wanted children who would want to know him. What if we don't, why, why is not wanting to know God or love him a crime? And who does that hurt? How can anything hurt God? Why do we, des why do people deserve eternal torture for not wanting to know or love God? How is, I, a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't want to know or love me, so, I mean, how would it make me look if I would, okay, you, you don't want, you don't want me in your life? Okay, you're going to hell. I'm going to torture you for, for the rest of your life. How does that make me look? It's okay because it's God. Okay, why does why does God's own being make that make that or justify that? Hmm? Answer me that. But if but he wanted people, he knew that they would what they would do. Okay, so he knew, right? This is the omniscience going on here. So, if he already knew beforehand, what does that say about him? He proceeded anyway, and he knew that this world was going to end up this way. But it's our fault because we have a choice. He knew. He knew what we were going to choose, even if that's true. So that is God's fault, then, if he does exist. You just said it yourself. He knew what they would do. He knew Adam and Eve would sin. You're, you're contradicting yourself now. But he gave them that chance not to. He knew! So that makes him responsible for giving them that chance regardless. You just contradicted yourself in that shit right there. In those sentences. I'll ask again because you're seemingly unable to answer as you resort to preaching the garbage that is Christianity. Yeah. I am not preaching Christianity. And you run off with, the, with your tail between your legs. So, yeah, let's boot it. <laughs>